Well, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day uh, that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. It is 5.45 a.m. The sun is still an hour away from rising. A huge shout out to Lake Javita for making this happen. We have been trying to make this match happen for a very long time, and it finally is happening today. There's a lot of backstory to it, but when two opposing forces want to play a golf match, the universe just has a, has a way of not letting that happen. I don't know, we've, we've just run into a lot of roadblocks. I was gonna play Carter after the Good Good Desert Open, and as most of you guys know, I, I won the Good Good Desert Open, and my partner and I were invited to go film a good good week and we couldn't turn that down I told Carter I told his team and I was like listen guys this isn't gonna work like I know our match is important but I just you know when good good invites you out you got to take that opportunity and I took that opportunity we only ended up filming one video with them but you know here we are first tea time out at Lake Chavita 710 is gonna be our tea time today the sunrise is at 706 yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be dark early, but it's going to make for a very cool video. I think um, I'm not sure if we're doing stroke play or match play. I know the first nine holes will be here on my channel. And guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Content will get better, and there will be more of it. So stay tuned for that. Back nine will be on his channel. I think they're gonna be posting it around 6 p.m. later today. So kind of close together, but you're definitely gonna wanna watch the front nine because I'm not sure how the interactions are gonna go with Carter. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a very hostile environment or what. Um, I will say this, I think he hates me a lot more than I hate him. And <laughs> I mean, that's just funny. It's, it's the truth though. I mean, I'm not one for golf beef. I, I think it's stupid, right? We're golfers at the end of the day. We are entertainers too. Like, I don't know, it's golf. That, that's the bottom line. We're hitting a golf ball into a hole. We can't block each other's shots. Like, I don't know if he's gonna be chirping me all day or what. I'm not gonna do much talking. I'm gonna just try and focus on my golf game. You know, I do believe I am the better golfer as well. Like, if I go out there and play my best game, my, my golf game that I know I can play, then I will win. Like. I'm very, very much confident about that. We can't let him get under our skin. We can't try and play against Carter today. We have to play against the course. Let me go through though and tell you guys a little bit how this beef started because like I said, I'm not one for golf beef and I don't believe I started this beef, um, but that's just me. I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge. I'll tell you the story, tell you everything that happened. I saw Carter at a VSGA event last spring and I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I saw him there. I knew he was a you know content creator, and I was too. We were both on the smaller side. I shot him a DM on Instagram after the round, just saying, you know, let's collab sometime. Let's do some stuff. Like if you ever want to do some stuff for like YouTube or Instagram or whatever, you know, let's do it. Uh, and he was like, yeah, let's do it, man. Um, I remember his wording and his and his texts were a little and his DMs were a little weird. You know, obviously he's kind of an interesting cat, as most of you can tell. But yeah, it was. Good terms, he followed me back, and that's kind of where it left off for a little bit. Then he really started to take off on social media last year, last summer, and a lot of people were doing their own DOD impression, right? He was the talk of golf social media for a little bit. And I was like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make fun of, like, I, I don't know if you guys know this about my content, but like, a lot of it is just making fun. Like, I don't know, it, I'm, I'm a little bit of a troll of my own sometimes, but I, I don't think it's in a bad way. I think it's always in like a in like a funny way. I'm not really ever trying to poke anyone. But this video, I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge. I posted a funny video, which at the time I thought it was funny. I'll let you guys be the judge. I threw the ball on the, onto the ground. I stomped on it, and I said I was gonna one up him here and do one better, and it went backwards. And I don't know. I just I posted that. I didn't say anything bad in the caption. It was just me throwing the ball over my head, saying I'm gonna do one better here, like totally a joke, 100% a joke, everyone could tell. I wasn't calling shots in any way. I literally hit the ball negative three feet. And he comments and says, who is this guy? Which even though, you know, he knew who I was because he was, you know, fellow Virginia guy, you know, DMing me back. And then he unfollows me and I was like, I was just like, okay, dude, I mean, you know, it's one thing, you know, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. You know, it didn't, it didn't really resonate with me well. I was just like, okay, obviously this guy is like doing good, good for him, but you don't need to be like, you don't need to be like that. You know, you don't, you don't need to do that kind of stuff. And uh, if anything, I was helping him. I was getting more attention on what he's doing, which is the driver off the deck thing, you know? Uh, God bless him. That's, uh, <laughs> you know, making golf harder on yourself is, uh, is a, 
interesting way to make a living. But yeah, I posted that video, he unfollowed me, commented who is this guy. From then on out, I would get like random comments from him from time to time underneath like my posts and it would just call me like daddy's money, daddy rich, blah, 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 like this guy. And he would just randomly post me on a story and be like, this guy is total country club, spoil blah, blah, blah vibes. Like, and this is like, literally all after I just had posted that video. Like nothing else had been said. I, I don't think I had commented on any of his posts. Like I said, I'm not one to start beef for no reason. If I do start beef, then there's gonna be a reason behind it. But um, but yeah, and then I was like, okay. Like I, I didn't like that, I didn't appreciate that. So I then was like, let me call him out for a match and let me do a, a serious DOD video to do that. Okay, guys. I don't know if it's inverted for you, but. King couldn't take a little joke, so we're gonna show him how it's done. 320, right down the middle. I'm gonna beat him at his own game. Yeah, so, I mean, one, that, that drive was ripped. But, uh, but that video did blow up, and it blew up on TikTok first, Instagram. Like, it blew up on both, both platforms. It got his attention. Then it really started to get kind of hostile. I mean, this dude posted me on his story every week saying something. He even made an actual post about me and got a photo from me of like, from like 2016 when I was like holding a trophy in, in my high school event, Weasel Wednesday or whatever he was doing. And I don't know, it's just gotten to the point now where it's like, I don't know if this dude hates me. I don't hate Carter. I don't have like real, real beef beef with him. But I mean, obviously I wanna beat the kid at golf. He's not really respecting me. So it's like, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. And today I'm gonna have to end this once and for all. I mean, I, that's the goal here. Uh, I don't see, you know, I don't see any outcome where he comes out of this winning. May the best man win. Let's see what happens. All right, here we are. What do you want to do, man? Do you want to do stroke play, match play? Match play. Match, match play? One-on-one, -on -one, true competition. Today, yeah. Today we find out. Yeah, I like that. That's it. Let's That's play it. some aggressive golf. Dude. Yes, hey. yes. Respect. Let's Into do the this. arena, let's rock and roll. Let's, let's do rock it. and roll. Gotta find out today. Let's give the Somebody people what they want. Win. The people what? want it. It's been happening for a while. The talking is done. Let's find out who has it. Yeah, let's flip a tee for honors. Okay. I mean, they I would give you this. them on my channel, but They always do this, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. And Ben goes. I got honors, all right. Par four, 470, a little bit of a dog leg left. One of the toughest starting holes around. Um, yeah, I got two iron in hand. You can't really hit much more than that or else you're in trouble, so. I got a question for you, Benji. Yeah, what's that? Why, why tee up the ball if you end up just having it so low? I mean, you know, sometimes I do. I don't use a tee when it comes to par threes and stuff, but I think two iron is when it gets a little sketchy for me. I use it to my advantage, Carter. That's, I mean, that's what you for. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. All right. Good swing. I'm honestly happy I made contact with that. Let's rock and roll. Wow, look at that sun. It's just hitting us right now. Um, <laughs> guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I, you know, I shouldn't be having to tell you this, but the YouTube content is only getting better. I hit that ball a little high, so it probably didn't go the furthest. I kind of spun it a little bit, but we're in the right edge of the fairway. Really tough starting hole here. Really tough starting hole. That sucks. Uh, I mean, we have a swing and we have a shot. It's just like, I thought it was gonna be in the right edge of the fairway and I missed it by a little bit. We got 227. I got a four iron in hand. Pin's cut on the right side. Just trying to just hit a little fade. Anything on the green's a good shot here. Go. Couldn't really tell where that landed, but the swing wasn't bad, it just overfaded on me a little bit. All right, early AM. Ben actually hit a good shot from where he was. Kind of like the guy, which is upsetting me because he's a good dude. It's hard to like, once you meet him, it's like, he's kind of a good dude. But anyway, we lock back in. 185, I'm hitting a six. Green and regulation, just drove two hours. We'll take that. We're actually in a really bad spot. We are in a really bad spot right here. Carter doesn't have a guaranteed two putt. He's got like 35 feet for birdie, but we gotta get it up and down for par. Assume he's gonna two putt it. Not a good shot. I mean, really, realistically, the only two things I did wrong with those first two swings, they just didn't go far enough. Like if my first tee shot went as far as it normally does, 
wouldn't have been in that situation. So let's get up and down. Let's give ourselves a chance at least. We got this bunker here cut pretty close to the pin. Let's uh let's give ourselves a chance at par. Looked like it took kind of a wild bounce, honestly. We got about a 30 footer. Figure out the pace on the first hole. I mean, that's on brand. Pretty good. Little right to lefter. The one thing today, if I can make a couple putts, um, I like my chances a lot. We haven't really been putting the greatest recently, but I think today we can knock some in. Let's manifest it. Oh. Oh. That's, uh... Pick, that. Pick it up. All right, yeah. There is gimmies today, guys. It's match play. That's a little bogey start for me. Yep. Good par. That's a, I'll give you props there. That's a good par on that hole. That's a tough, really tough starting hole. No warm up. I mean, a three footer on the first hole. My hands are shaking. Oh, man. Let's, Let's call a spade a spade. I had a Celsius at 5 a.m. Right. And I'm nervous. Right. You call, like, you know, some people are like, I never get nervous. But at the end of the day, you need to embrace it. And if you try to hide from pressure, it'll just get you. So you just have to embrace it, utilize it to your advantage. Early start, I never go one up. No. I usually like going one down. Right. So now we just pretend that I'm one down and we continue on. We got a good par five here. I haven't played here in like five years. We're showing up at Benjamin's home course, so. Hell of a four, baby. Hell of a four. We're leaving it all on the course today. One on one. We find out. Got a par five here. First driver of the day. Always nice, John, 7 a.m. right off the box. In play, John. Yeah. It's slightly left, but it's gonna be fine. I mean, yeah. that's kind of the miss on this hole. A little, little high and pulley, but we're gonna have a chance to go for the green, though. Got it. Yeah. Be careful there. John. I know. Respect the game. Respect I could, I game. could do it. But that one. Don't think so. I, I, I don't think this so. one for this sure. One, I don't. I'm not laying up. 225. Got it. Two iron early morning. Let's find out. So good. Go. 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 Hits up. Hits up. Yeah. Didn't see any splash. <laughs> Job, the early morning oh, just like bomb dude. a two iron with a stick in front right. of you. You gotta love when I look at you too and go plenty of club boss. <laughs> Carter just barely cleared the water, probably by like three feet. So he's gonna have a chip at Eagle. We are in the rough, but we have a chance to go for it as well. I don't know if this is a five or four. The lie's really good, but based off my first couple shots of the day, I'm kind of hitting it high and balloony. Just left, but I think I'm gonna be putting. I couldn't tell. That sun, guys, obviously Raleigh probably wasn't able to see it, but yeah, that sun is right in my eyes. I don't know where that ended up. I think it's gonna be good though. Today's the day. Today's the day. There's what the people wanted to see, you know, 7 a.m., why not? I mean, come on. Special right there, we had about a yard. Dude, great golf shot. Yeah, thank you. All right, uh, Carter came to play today. You know, I don't, like I said, I haven't really watched much of his stuff, but from the start, I'm, imp I'm pretty impressed. This putt's like 45 feet, kind of a weird one. Looks like it goes a little to the left in the middle of the putt, but we do have an eagle look, so let's try and knock it in. Dude. One time, come on. Wow, dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, All right. respect, respect. Yeah, birdie. Thank you. Birdie. That's a good little bounce back birdie. I'm, you know, that first hole normally gives me issues anyway, so I wasn't really too worried about it. Jay, I see the bottom of the cup. Ball and cup, boss. Got it. Good birdie. Respect. Hey. Dude, good birdie. Yeah. It's a good start there. Game recognized game. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am one down through two onto the next hole, hole three, which is a par four. A little bit of water on the left. Some good golf there. Is, two, uh, two good birdies. People wanted to see us go at it, Benjamin. They did. Let's, let's give them a shout. Sit. Sit. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Good ball by Carter there. He's in the fairway. We're going to take it just left of where his was, though. Yeah, 
Go. Go. It was a little on the aggressive side, but we're in the rough. We're gonna have a shot. I'm glad it didn't catch one of those bunkers because that would have been that would have been a dangerous little 50 yard bunker shot right there. Do you think of anything at the top when you pause? Not really, dude. I don't have any thoughts going on up there. I mean, kind of just like hit ball hard. That's the right answer. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit more of an aggressive line than I wanted, but we're safe. Uh, we are safe. I feel like if it was a little later in the day, a little warmer, I could hit the ball a little further right now, but I'm really just not hitting it that far. We're going to have a very good angle and hopefully a good lie in the rough. Carter is going to have a longer ways out, but he is in the fairway. God, I didn't expect him to play. I didn't He's expect a, him to play that good. He must have taken taking something awesome. he is like he's dialed he's dialed <laughs> he's in you dialed. can tell he's focused he wants to win this match we got 103 johnny left my 56 at the course yesterday so we got a 52 degree here ben's in a really good spot gotta make a birdie sit sit down johnny that's on you where's my 56 at john I'd rather see aggressive lines early like, you know, that, that ball was. It was really aggressive. We only cleared by about a couple yards, but I, that's the way with Carter's last hole. So we got 65 yards in the rough. Not the greatest lie, kind of a mud ball as well, but we have all the green in the world. Go, go, go. Little on the safer side there, but I mean, you don't want to do the opposite. That lie was interesting. I didn't really know what it was going to do, but we got a putt. We got a chance. So we got this little thing behind my ball. Would someone call that a ball mark? Yeah. Ball mark. So I'm just gonna here. It looks like it goes right to left. So I think with a putter, I'm just gonna kind of downwards attack angle it and just feel it out. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Right there. Carter's got a little work left for his par, but we can just knock this one in. That'd be ideal. Just close the door, make him, make that putt good. Um, get back to all square through three. I don't see much in this putt. Pretty straight, uphill. I like it. Oh boy, Ben. It's not straight and uphill when you push it three cups and hammer it. Oh, wow. That was a good roll, Carter. That's good. All right, little three-footer, right center. Really ugly first putt, but let's just have this in, win the hole, move on to the next. Yeah, yeah. a little step there on the three-footer? Uh, you know, I mean, normally I could tell when right away if I put a good stroke, it's gonna go in. Got it. All square through three. Par, par three here, over water, good little hole. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. I mean, the way this match has started, it's gonna be a battle. For the people. The people wanted to see it, here we are. What do you excuses. what do you think about I mean he's got a caddy today. And I, I don't I don't have a caddy. His caddy's not doing much. But his caddy's not doing I, I, <laughs> um yeah, he wanted a caddy. I think that makes it fair since I probably know the course a little better than him. He said he played here in college a few times, so he still does know the course, but um yeah. All right, 193 to the pin. I got a 6 iron. Ball's not going super far right now. The pin is back. It's a nice little baby cut just left of it. See, I'm not using a tee here. Yeah, I mean, I don't use a tee on par threes most of the time, actually. It depends on the course, if, if the tee boxes, but you know, tee boxes here are good, so par threes, we don't use tees. Cut now, cut now. Okay, we got a long putt, just, you know, just didn't cut it, simple as that. I have a six iron. What did we say it was, 190, John? 190. Johnny. Johnny. Might be putting though. Yeah, I might be able to putt though. It's on you, John. It's never mind. 100%. Why would it be? Never. Two putts. He does, he does. He carried it. Well, like the five, if I, like, as I 90% struck that pier, right. right? If it was 100% pier, probably is to the middle. Right. But the five iron, if I hit it like that, I'd be next to the pin. Agreed. If I hit it pure, I'd be over the green, right. which is death. Agreed. So I, I see where your head's at with that. And it's easy up and down. 100%. Right? Like, which is the name of the game in match play, just not taking yourself out of holes. So we'll see. I am just away. We both barely missed the green, but we both, both got putter in our hands. Yeah, long putt here, but I missed it on the right side of things. If you miss it right of this green, you don't really have much. You got no green to work with. Got to hit something high and soft. And with the ground being wet this early in the morning, those shots are really tricky. All right, let's get it there. I think this putt's gonna be slow, uphill the whole way. Greens are still a little wet. Give it a run at least. Oh 
my gosh. Well, I gave it a great run, honestly. Two feet by, that was good speed. Good pot, I'll take that. I, I see what like, you're saying at the beginning, it moving a little right, bit. Right, like, I just feel like off here. It's gonna shoot it. It's just gonna shoot it. Yeah. It's gonna shoot it. But I still like that line though. Yeah. Okay. All right. And hit it son. Johnny pretty straightforward. Ball and cup. Yep. Can you grab that? Just little testers early. Lefties. 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 Are you kidding me? Pressure, the heart pressure is a privilege, dude. Honestly, I live for stuff like this, where it's like one-on-one, -on -one, everything's on the line. Live for days like that. Heart beating. Good stroke. Good stroke, dude. That's a, that's a good part right there. Yeah, this, like you said, I don't, this match doesn't even need a wager. There's enough on the line already, so, uh, yeah, let's just tap this in. Very similar little tap into last hole. Thanks. Thank you. Pressure putts early and they're going in for everybody. It's gonna be a death. It's gonna be a war today. All right, 400 yard par four, straight away. Definitely a driver hole. Two good pars for us back there. Let's make some birdies though. This match is too boring right now. I need to, I need to step on it a little bit. Start making some stuff happen. I don't know, if you hit it right on this hole, it can get... I always just like aiming at the right side of this hole, even though left is a little better. Uh, it might be a little bit of tree trouble, but it's fine. John. Nope. Bad swing there. You know what? I would say that's like, you know, that's, you, you could have worse misses on this hole. It's Felt okay. good about that. Then I hit it. Golfing in the misses, boss. Game misses, once again, there's gonna be a lot of comments about maybe tee it up, guy. Right. You know? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it's fine, it's early morning. Tee it up, guy. It's fine. Take that one on the chin. 100%. Just eat it. Go ahead, roast me in the comments, it's fine. It's fine. You know, that's that that's what can happen right there um, <laughs> when you don't use tea. I mean, you know, God bless the guy. He's, uh, he's out here ch trying to change the game of golf. The one thing I will say is if you guys have ever hit a driver off the deck, it's not, I don't really struggle hitting it sideways. I just struggle like actual contact itself. The other day I came out and hit some messing around doing driver off the deck and it felt great. I didn't, I don't think I missed the fairway. I just was losing yardage and spinning it a little too much. But other than that, I could see why someone might start teeing it lower. Maybe not, not tee, but yeah, I can, I can see it. Even when I miss them in the fairway, it's beautiful. 175. 75? It's like a tucked pin. 175. I got a six iron. The ball's not really going that far right now. Style. Lost it right away. Lost it right away. I lost it as well. Somewhere. Right at it. Right at it. Alright. Great shot. Really? Yeah, great shot. Alright. We fill in divots You're here. If you guys shot. really want to see 10 minutes of Ben and I filling in divots, uh, we can do that. But stop. Stop saying about it. We, we take care of it. Kind of an unfortunate break here. For five yards left, we have a great shot. For five yards right, we have a great shot. I mean, you know, is what it is. I don't really know what the game plan is on this one. I almost just have to like draw it and hope it runs through the bunker. If not, we have to get up and down for maybe the bunker or just right of it. But yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. If I go on that line and go right of it, I have to make sure I hit this really solid because I don't want to be short of that bunker and have a really tough chip shot. So I need to just punch something and really swing at it. It's up. Oh, oh my gosh. That was almost really good. Was, I respect that. That was that almost was a bold play. That's something I would do. I, I respect it. Good shot. Thank you. That was almost really good. That was almost very good. Very good. I am in a footprint. Somebody, you know, somebody didn't rake. Guys, respect the golf course. I mean, it, it isn't that hard. You know, it really isn't. Look at that. It's like someone had a field day in here. Almost looks like somebody came out there with their sneakers and just like, this honestly is a very makeable bunker shot. I will say, I can see this one dropping. Let's do it. Oh, Ben. God, that frustrates you because it's just such an easy bunker shot. It's so short. You just got to swing a little softer at it. And I just completely decelled. Got a birdie look. Shark and roll. That's good. We put ourselves in a, in a tough spot. Good par there for Carter considering the chunk drive. We got like this 15 footer from just off the green. This tough part is gonna be like judging the first couple feet out of this fringe, but overall the putt isn't too bad. God, I thought it was gonna. Oh, respect, oh, all right. respect, respect. 
They'll start to fall, I know it. They'll start to fall. Just a bad bunker shot there, if I'm being honest, and a bad drive. That was, uh, I mean, hey, behind a tree to take that land, that's something I would do, so I respect it. Um, that would've been a hell of a par, so respect. Hole six here, dog leg right to left. They got some good holes out here. It's a great course to battle this out. We're gonna leave it all on the course today. We're gonna find out. I mean, it'll be fine. You just got a long way then. Yeah, it's all right. Could be a chunk driver from there. From this. All right, I got a, I got a three wood as well. Like you said, this one's just a sharp dog leg left. Just straight ahead. I'm probably gonna go like 30 yards left of where Carter's ended up. Here, even with homie starting. Thank you. Yeah. I had to focus up there. A little on the heel, but you know, we'll take that ball. Middle of the fairway, in a good spot. All right, tucked pin here, 211 to the pin. Got a four iron here. We're gonna go for the middle. Draw a bit. I did not draw. Down. Somewhere. It's in play. A lot of green, a lot of green to work with. Mess. Yep. All right, I got 170 to the stick. Gonna have to get a draw if I wanna get this close to the pin, which is the tricky part. But uh, but no, I don't mind this shot, honestly. I think I'm gonna just try and smoke an eight. Hook. Hook. I mean, it's fine. It's not my best stuff, but. Yeah, another miss green. You gotta mid check in, just, down, Benji. Yeah, just, just another. Just find out, Benjamin. What do I do here, Ben? Just play it from there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's, cause this is, you can go right there. I can't? Yeah. Is that not closer to the hole? Oh, uh, if you go like five, I mean, it's probably like the same distance on this river right here. Okay, that's valid. It, that is just a further point of relief, so I think that technically you could actually go up right here. So right here is okay? Yeah. Oh. All in play, John. Nice. Green to work with, we got mid checks, me versus Slides young Ben. Here. I'm gonna show them how it's done in the 7.5 today. Shout out to the 7.57. Sleepy hole golf course, represent Virginia. I hate to do it to a fellow VA native, but hey. We'll find out. Would be a perfect 56. What about? That's on Brady. In an ideal world, be an athlete, Bosser. Downhill slipper, tight lie. Ben has a very standard mid check. You want me to just go high and avoid the ridge, or just? Um, I don't hate that play. Going, sure. Going. I rolled out so much. Great shot. Good it. shot though. Great shot. Mid check Monday on a Friday. All right, well, I mean, I missed it in the right spot. We didn't miss another green, but I get to putt this. If it was in a little bit better lie, I might chip it, but um, it's a putt all day, honestly. Just gotta get it rolling. As you can tell from Carter's, it does roll out quite a bit. Downhill straight to the hole, so. All about feel here. Sit down. We'll go in. Sit, sit. God, that is so much faster than you think it's gonna be. These green complexes are tricky. Downhill, dude, it's, you gotta watch out. I don't like, think, and the people really won't be able to see it because it's like Augusta, like you can't see the like undulations afterward. Undul yeah, undulation, 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 yeah. undulation, but like there's crazy, this green, the green complex is nuts. Is no, no, I did not. I worked for my dad's business and for a range for a little bit and just, uh, really? yeah, saved up money. Yeah. Good man, good for you. Yeah, I was not a scholar, dude. Were you always me. trying to go pro then? Uh, yeah, I was going to go to a Juco in Pinehurst and then I was like, they didn't have their season because of COVID. And I was like, I'm not going to go to school. So a gap year ended up just turning into me not going to go. Yeah. Being a little Juco bandit? Yeah. Juco is not I would have never thought of that. Have <laughs> thought Nobody of that. ever, yeah. Dude, they all think great. I'm like a Harvard kid. Dude, I, not thought, really, dude I thought you'd be, that's, yeah. I mean, that's I you go to like a good Yale, Yale specifically. Yeah. Smart, yeah. You know, yeah. It's always a good golf. Yeah, I'm not that smart. I just need to Oh, dude. No harm. You're talking to the right guys. This putt is very simple. I mean, we got to knock this in. We got to shape up here. We can't have two bogeys in a row especially after a good three wood off the tee. Uh, yeah, dead straight, 13 feet, give or take. It's just, let's just knock it out. Let's just hammer it. What are you doing, Ben? Good putt. Mm -hmm. Nice putt. I, I figured you were gonna make that. I knew I had to give it a run. Good right. part. <laughs> That's a good part. I mean, he's made a couple good bars from like, you know, chunking his driver last hole, blocking it here, I mean, He's, dog, he's mudding it today. He really is. Scrappy Two dog. down through set through six. We're on to the seventh, which is a par three. Got to shape up, guys. This is 
not what I wanted. You've been with me since the beginning of the beef, the beginning of everything really, but I, I gotta man up and tell the people, I misjudged Ben. I'll take it on really? that. Well, come on, dude. I mean, He's know, a nice dude. He's dude. a nice guy. And I judged the book by its cover. I thought he was some preppy college country club punk with daddy's money. Similar story to me. Took a gap year, worked two jobs, trying to figure it out. I gotta take, you know, can't judge a book by its cover, and I did that. Put your hands up, dude. That's on me. Yeah. That's on me. Put your hands up. Good, good dude. Solid dude. Yeah, I gotta take that one. That was just me being an insecure, jealous weasel, you know? But it takes a man to admit it. Yeah. Part three's out here, dummy. I got a five iron. It's kind of downwind, but I'm really, the ball's still not really going that far for me. I'm gonna go five iron right at the guy cutting the grass. Simmer. Stop. It's just right. I'm gonna hit that that good. Gotta assume he's gonna par that. So, I got a six iron in hand. I don't think it, I don't really think it needs to be hammered or anything. A little downhill, slightly downwind. I keep saying this, but we're gonna make birdies. That's just gonna be the longest putt ever right there, guys. We're gonna have a 70 footer. We got a birdie putt, but it's a, it's a long one to say the least. All right, um, well, I am on the green, Carter is not, but I am away because I have like literally 70, 80 feet. I think seeing his kind of made me think like, don't go right because it is downhill over there. Like, if, I don't know. Swing isn't in an amazing spot currently, but I can change and change in a hole or two. Uphill the whole way. I mean, this is gonna be the slowest putt of the day. And I've had that, I had that one slow, and this is gonna be, gonna have to hammer it to get it there. Not bad. Thank you. I'll take that. I mean, lag putting isn't that bad today. We had that little mess up last hole, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a little off right now. That was a good stroke though. Got a tricky position here. Just missed it into the rough, so I can't move it. Fairway line right here. Um, so it's in some dirt, putting through some dirt. Call that the grease in the 757. I live for the grease. This is a tough one. As soon as it touches the green, it's just shooting down and left, so it's a field shot. It's a tricky one. I'll take that honestly. Downhill, this place is, uh, yeah, Dude, downhill, it's, like, it's, it's quick. We haven't really had good touch on downhill shots yet, but they it's They put like, the pins in some lethal positions today as well. Seems like they always, they always, they always are kind of on ridges. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes it fun though, you know? That's good. Snap. That, uh, that was tough. It's tough. Yeah, weird little four footer here. I really did make sure to get that last butt to the hole, but. I think I got this one left edge, maybe a smidge outside. It's gonna be downhill, so I'm not gonna hit it too firm. Solid. Uh, yep. Thank you. Solid. Yeah, that was that was a tough putt. That was a lot harder putt than it probably looked on camera. But uh, putt, man. yeah, one down through seven. We got a hold back. That's a tough par hole. I mean, 203 with a pin like that. Yeah, it's tough par. On to the next one. This course, a lot can happen. I think it's a great match play course. You can come out here if you're playing well, and make it look easy. But if you're not hitting it like really good then it can be really challenging straight away par 4 420 plays a little longer though this 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 hole i think plays longer than 420 personally there's there's bunkers along the right you might be able to carry those if you if you hit it really good off the tee but most of the time it's it's pretty tough to carry little toey but i mean that's that's the perfect spot right there Solid. gonna be in the left side of the fairway big draw i wanted to make sure i drew that ball because I've been missing it a little bit right with the driver recently and just not turning it over, but that'll be in good shape. Oh boy. Sit. Sit. Good. Down. Oh my gosh, I think wow. you're in play. <laughs> that was that was the wipiest, greasiest swing ever. And it landed with a foot away from out of bounds and kicked left. It literally, back, that might be an advantage not using a tee there. You got backspin with your driver. I mean, that was. That was greasy. Though. That was 230 swipe, 10,000 RPM of spin. Once again, you don't use tees, don't up, end up in the trees. That was the luckiest play ever, to be honest. That was, <laughs> that, like, that, that thing was swiping out of bounds from the get go. Yeah. The fact it missed the cart path from a foot and stayed probably in, I don't really know, but I think so, is outrageously lucky. Oh, is it close? Trooper. I mean, it's, it's, it's just so close. 
like, here's the deal. The ball just needs to be touching your rod. Like, come over here, because this could be... The ball needs to be touching the line, and it's in play. It's your, it's your call. Oh, man. I don't know. Where's the other pole? Yeah. The pole is way down. <laughs> the pole is way down. Like, can you not use that one? That pole, or does it have to be it the has, It has, it has, to, be has in to be in between two. the two poles. Uh, that's yeah. A, that's OB. That's OB. Uh, John, should we go rebox? Is OB bad? Do you want me to hit really quick and then you decide? You go hit. You go hit. You go hit. And then you decide what you yep. want to do? Yeah. Yep. Yep. We are doing we are doing match play. Yep. So if yep. I get it on the green and have a birdie putt, you'll be hitting your third off yep. the tee. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Then yeah. You go yeah. hit. You go hit. Okay. Hey, keep All it real, right. folks. Keep it real. That was respect. That was OB. All right. I'm going to let Carter decide after I hit the shot if he wants to go back and re-tee. If I get this on the green, anything within 30 feet, I mean, he doesn't really have much of a chance to time me on this hole, so. We got 106, we hit a good drive, we're on the left side of the fairway. 55 degree in hand, 106, put something close, move on to the next hole, which is a par five to finish out this nine. Yeah, I'll take that. All square, I won the hole. Uh, moving on to the next. Yeah, play the hole well, two good swings. Get the confidence rolling back. I mean, that's all you can ask for. Uh, you don't like to see your playing opponent make mistakes like that. I know we're not both playing the best, but uh, it is match play at the end of the day. So we'll take what we can get. All right, hole nine, reachable par five. Very, just a great ending hole for this side, honestly. Water on the right once we get up to the green, but uh, yeah, match is all square. Got to hit a good drive here. I want to I wanna have an eagle putt and the nine on a good note. Thank you. That was the best swing of the day right there, I could safely say. Driver hole? Best swing of the, yeah, 100% driver hole. Reachable par five. All square. I mean, hey, just like that, one missed pot, one bad swing, back to all square. Scrappy round, scrappy match. Not many tied holes uh, so far. No, which I think is good. Which is good. Yeah, I, is I love good. that, I love yeah. that. That'll work, John. Get out of there. I just have to be a three-shotter, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. Never you, know. Sometimes you get an opening in those trees over there. It's either that, or you or go grab your two iron, no, you get 100 no, yards no. right over there. How, how far so is it to you? Yeah. A, lot of a lot of conversation here. We're, we're all square. Let's let's punch out, make it trust the wedge. <laughs> <laughs> After a debatable conversation of extremes, we're punching out. Right there. Right there. Right there. Just lamp into a bunker, John. Yeah, that's why we hit three wood over the trees. Let's see if I would have done it. Right. I'm kind of curious. Ben, you cool if I just see if I could have done it with the three wood? Yeah, yeah, let's see. It. Cut that. <laughs> two twenty-seven. I'm right in between clubs. I could take a two iron, just hit a little punch cut, but I also could take a four and just try and really hit it hard. I just don't think the four is going to get all the way there. If I'm being honest, should have punch cut. We're going to start it just left of the green, cut it back. Let's get an eagle putt. Come on. Oh my God, Ben. Go. All right, we're in the bunker. I mean, I just, I just decelled, honestly. I, last second, I was like, if I hammer this two iron, it's just gonna knuckle right through the wind, go over the green, just a bad yardage. But um, I just need to start committing to shots before I hit them right now. I'm just not committing, bottom line. That was just a bad, uncommitted swing. I, I don't really like playing a big fade in like a, like under pressure, I like going at something. But at the end of the day, I don't think I was getting four iron there either. Just. Weird yardage. I have a big gap between my four iron and my two iron. Gotta get that. Gotta get that situated. All right, we got 80 yards. Field shot here. I think that pin's right on a ridge. We're just gonna go right at it. Then hit it pretty much pin high into a bunker. So got my 52. Here. Go. Go. Didn't really cut that great. You know, the one thing I will say is I expect it to be a little bit more of a hostile environment today. Um, I'm not sure if that's regular for Carter, but I respect Carter for respecting golf. Um, I think at the end of the day, he knows that this match means a lot to both of us, and he's not going to try and do anything stupid. He just wants to play better golf than me, and I respect it. No way. Just sunbathing. All right, we have a 55 degree in hand. Kind of a long bunker shot. Carter's got a long putt. Let's just, I mean, we need to make a birdie. We birdied the first par five. Let's birdie the next one. After this, you're not gonna see any more golf on my channel. You're gonna see it on his. Let's take a lead. Going into the back now. Go. Go. Tried the chunk and run method. It's just a little uphill. A little tricky to get it there. I mean, yeah, not a great shot. Not a bad one. We got a chance. 
Johnny, I mean, overall, Rod Shalou. It's not very much. No. Is that a word, not very much phrase? Awesome. It is now. I kind of create much, things. Much. Make this. That would turn the tide. Not bad. Yeah, Not bad. Pop. That went it's dead and straight. If anything, right. Dead straight and then honestly left to right. Our read was so off. Yeah, I think it's just... I, I putted a few that length early, you so. Have, you have. Yeah. You know, I'm not giving it to you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know no, you're not giving it to you. That's not happening. No. Yeah, we got a chance. The door is open to take the lead. For the first time today, we haven't had a lead, which is like a little disappointing. But got like a cup out here, uphill. Not the greatest bunker shot there, but let's just wipe the memory and just make this putt. God, I'm just overreading everything. You want to go good, good? Uh, I think I got you by a little bit. I'll nice. just, we'll play it out. Nice. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's the end of the nine on my channel. That is disgusting. Carter, rest of the match is on his. I'm one down going to the back nine. Scrappy golf here today. Some, some ugly golf, yeah, yes. a little uh, as of the last couple holes. But hey, we keep it golf. real. There's a lot of people out there that don't keep it real and they're not willing to enter the arena and find out. Ben, respect. Yeah. Let's go get it let's done. Let's do it. Let's go get it done. Let's Good finish this out. Let's, finish let's this do out. it. All right, guys, while we're signing off here, we're one down going to the back. I mean, you know, I'm playing my worst. I mean, I could look at it in two ways. I'm playing bad golf and that sucks, but I just shot my worst nine on that, on that nine all year and I'm only one down. <sighs> I mean, the putting feels just really, really bad right now. Really bad. All right, signing out though. Hopefully you enjoyed that front nine. Subscribe if you haven't already. I need to start playing better on my channel. Peace now. Well, let's get this match done. Let's get the job done.